Hey, David with Go for Launch, and this video is a review comparison video between Loom and Tela. Now, right off the bat, I want to tell you that I've used both these products. I currently subscribe to both of them. I've used Loom for a while. I've been using Tela for like the last month. Uh, I really like them both, but but in this video, I kind of want to break down the differences for you so you know which one is right for you, okay? So in this video, I am, or this portion of the video, I am using the Loom screen recorder. And and that's, at the end of the day, that's what both of these products are. They're screen recorders or talking head recorders um, that you can make videos for for your business. So if you're talking with clients, if you're making um, video content for a course or for YouTube or for whatever you make it for, and you want to share your screen with that, both of these products are great for that. All right. So right now, like I said, I'm on Loom. Uh, we're on the Loom website. But, you know, the, you know, if I'm on a website or I'm doing a PowerPoint or something, I want to explain it to you. This is a way to have me on the screen explaining it to you why I go over the thing, right? Why I go over my PowerPoint, why I go over the website. I can talk about use cases. I can talk about, biz, you know, why, why, what businesses this is for, the resources and all that stuff, okay? I can move my chat bubble around wherever I want to on screen. I can make it smaller. I can go full screen and talk to you like this if we don't want to show the screen at all, right? I can go back to that. So we can do all kinds of things and move it around to that. But that's what Loom does, right? So whatever your use case is, you're replying to an email, you want to use a Loom instead of just typing back. You want to, you know, make a video and respond to them. You want to do a presentation. You want to do a, you know, like I said, a YouTube video or whatever. Loom is good for that. Okay, now I'm going to hop over to Tela and show you how it looks. All right, so now I'm on Tela. Now, the interesting thing about Tela is, you know, I've got the screen up right now that I'm looking at, the, my computer screen, and then I've got a little box over here where I can see myself talking, and I can move that box around, around the screen, okay? But unlike... Loom, where I moved it while I was talking, in Tele, you do that after the video, right? When you go into the editor, you move it around, right? So right now, I'm just on the screen. I can move it, get it out of my way and all that stuff. But the but the but where, where Tele shines is in post-production is in the editing where you're where you can do different views and in different screenshots and all that and why I like that better than Loom because Tele records when they record your video they actually record two different video files right so I have one file that's me on the bubble right and then I have another file that's my screen so when I go into editing I can move myself wherever I want to. I can make myself disappear, can bring it back. I can put it in different formats or whatever. Loom, you're, you're just kind of dictated where you put the bubble while you're talking because it's only one video file, right? And again, I'll show, the, show you that when I edit this, but that's where Tela really stands out is because they're, you know, if you're doing something and you want to, while you're talking, you want to change your screen and you want to keep things moving to keep your audience interested in it, you can do that with Tela. And again, I'll show you that in just a minute. But this, this is what the Tela screen recorder looks like and the formatting looks like. All right, now I want to show you in the Loom editor. So we're in the editor right now. And you can see up here, you've got activity. Um, if you've got any comments or anything, any tasks, any comments, your transcript to the video, views that you've had on the video, settings you've had on the video. You can add a thumbnail. You can filter background noise. You can have the Loom branded player on and off, animated thumbnail. But let's hop back here to edit, okay? So here's the AI that they talk about, right? You can you can take the transcript and you can have it write a document. Uh, you can ha um, write a message uh, based on it. You can you know you've, they've got some AI features built into it. 
you know, the only thing that I think this is really useful for is if you're going to take your video and turn it into like blog content. So I like that, right? So I can take my AI transcript or, you know, the document or whatever, I can have it write it and then I can kind of tweak that and mold it and make it into a blog post, right? And I can post it on my website. Um, they have remove filler words. So when I say, um, I can take that out, remove silences, you can take that out. Um, you can edit this by transcript. So you can go in here and, and change the words in your transcript, right? Uh, let's go, let's hop back out of that. There, let's put done. Oops, sorry about that. All right, um, you can add a link, which is cool. You can just put in there where you want the button to go. And that's nice if you're, you know, you know you're making a video for somebody and you send it to them. They're going to view it here on Loom, on the, you know, the Loom storage. Uh, and you can put in there, hey, you know, if you're interested in my offer or you want to set a, an appointment with me or whatever, you can put the link in there. You can change the color of the button and all that stuff. But then they can click on the button and go to you where you want them to go. If you take this video and embed it somewhere or put it on YouTube, that's not going to work. So just be aware of that. All right. And then... Let's go back to the editor, right? This is where you make your ads. It's like you want to cut something out. You want to split it. You want to, you know, cut the ends off or whatever. This is where you do that. But I want to point out, and this is, again, this is the difference between Tela and Loom, is in Loom, wherever the video is at, the, you know, of the bubble with you in it, that's where it stays, in Tela, we can change that, and I'm going to show you that. But again, Loom Solid, you know, it's a good software. Um, you know, if you just wanted to make videos to reply to people in emails or do whatever, it's great. Where Tela comes up is with the visual aspect, and I'm going to go into the editor right now and show that to you, okay? All right, now we're in the Tela editor. Now you can see I got a lot of pictures of me going on, so forgive me for that. But in this editor, I want to show you we're we're in the trim section here, and in the trim you can remove the buffers at the end of your video. You can also do it manually. You can remove the silences in your video. So if I'm quiet for a stretch and I want to take that out, or I've got filler words like um and eh, you know all that stuff, I can remove that. You also have the transcript. Okay, you have a zoom button. <clears throat> where you can add a zoom. So if I want to zoom in on something on the screen for a minute, screw, zoom back, all that, you can add that with the zoom. You can change your layout. And, and again, this is where Tela stands out because you can't do this in Loom, right? If you are if you're want movement on your screen and you want to go to different formats and all that, post edit, then you can do that in here. So when I'm editing this video, Right now I'm over here to the left and it's kind of overlapping. We're on this one here. But if I want to move that and say go to go to this screen or go to this screen or go to this or a little bubble here or whatever, I can do that. I can also go into the portrait <clears throat> if I'm doing it for maybe, you know, uh, Instagram or a Facebook, you know, post or whatever. And then I can just go into the square you know, and, and rearrange this and you can you can do this and you can zoom in and out and you can move anything where you want it to move, right? So even if I, let's say I did this one, right? But I'm like, you know, I still, I want this to be bigger, right? And I want it to go behind me like that. I can still, you know, I can do it whatever I want with this, right? So, and again, that the reason you can do that is because when Tela records, they record in two different files, not one file. So you can change those all around. So very cool, you know, and you can lay change layouts. So as I'm filming or as I'm editing, I can say, okay, at, you know, if we're going along and right here, I want to I add a layout, boom. And then I just pick the new layout.
and it will switch automatically and I can do that a hundred times through the video if I want to. So very cool. Uh, also love this button and I use it a lot, the adjust camera framing. <clears throat> Once I'm done with a video, if I'm not centered in that video, I can click on this button and I don't know if it will let me do it. Yeah, it will. So, and I can change my, my centering on that video, which is very cool. Um, you can edit the, the, you know, the layout, you know, if you're changing layouts, it'll either change smoothly or a hard cut and go to the next one. Also a cool feature. Um, backgrounds, you can upload backgrounds, you can do animated backgrounds, you can use color backgrounds, you can, you know, whatever. Um, I've added a few there. There's a go for launch that I added, but you can do, so you can change the backgrounds. You can't do that in Loom. That's also cool. Uh, borders. I like the curved borders here, but you can, you know, you can go and, you know, remove the, the border. You can, re, you know, change the styles. You can do shadows. You can do all that stuff. So that's really cool. Right. I don't want to do a shadow. Let's see. Let's do it like that. All right. So anyway, you've got that. Subtitles, you handle in here. If you want to run subtitles, you don't want to subtitles, you can you turn that on and off. Mirror, I think both of them have this, this function. I don't know why anybody would change the mirroring, but you've got it. And then if you want to crop, say, say I made a video and I didn't want to show my whole screen. I want to crop it down. I can do that in here. I can just bring it down. I can bring it in, right? And then when I'm done, I just hit done. Boom, done. All right, and then here's the redo button. If you just want to re-record and you hit that, all done. All right, so that's the difference. You can see that the, the Tele Editor is just more robust than the Loom. Both good products, but depending on what you need them for, you know, I like Tele because I make YouTube videos and I, you know, and I can change the formatting and do more with that, okay? So now let's hop into pricing. All right, now let's talk about pricing. And I'm going to say this right off with the pricing. I am an Atella affiliate. If you use my link, one, it won't cost you any more. Matter of fact, it will cost you less if you use my link. Uh, I would be a Loom affiliate, but they don't have an affiliate program. But again, like I've said before, I think they're both solid products. I, you know, I really like both of them. Okay, but let's look at the Loom pricing. They have a starter plan. It's free, includes up to 25 videos, up to five minutes long. Uh, you get a few of the features here. Um, I can't make a video under five minutes. All my videos are longer. So, you know, it's really their free plans just to get you in the door because you're going to eventually need to bump up if you're using it, okay? Uh, if you want to import, export videos, if you want to embed videos, if you want to remove their branding, if you want to be able to edit by transcript or use, you know, their AI or all that stuff, you need the, you need the business plan, all right? If you sign up and pay annually, it equates to $12.50 a month, but that's paying in advance. If you want to do it monthly, it's $15 when you're doing it month to month. And then they have an enterprise plan. If you're a big business, you're going to sign up a bunch of people. Um, you know, that's a different thing. That's not most of us. So uh, contact sales if you need that. All right. Now telepricing. Telepricing with my, and this is showing with my affiliate link, no matter if you do pro yearly or pro monthly, it's 13 bucks a month, right? So you can see where, it, you know, it's usually 15 and 19, but if you use my link, it's just 13 no matter what you do, okay? And then the premium is 34 a month. Now, everybody doesn't need premium. You know, you know, custom branding, custom domain, a little faster export, a um, couple features that they don't even have out yet, like the analytics and all that. Um, I do have premium, but I'm, I'm not recommending that you necessarily need it, right? I think most people pro will do just fine, all right? But if you're doing hardcore stuff and you want to upgrade, then that's it. But you need to use my link to get it for this price for, for $13.34. I believe it's 30% off the regular price, something like that. But 
you got to use MetaLink to get that. So I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions or you want me to do any other videos on screen recorders, drop a comment. Uh, like the video, all that stuff people say. Uh, but that's it. Loom versus Tela. Hope this helped you out, and I will talk to you guys soon.